You know, divorce has a tremendous impact on your children. It does a lot enough to you and, you and your finances, your health and things like that. But the impact that it has on your children can have a lot of long-term effects that none of us is prepared for, especially when we're going through that whole process. And what I want to do is share my story and give you guys some advice in regard to things that you could do to possibly help lessen the impact of divorce on your children, okay? Now, in my situation in particular, um, when my ex-wife told me she wanted to file for divorce, we discussed, you know, how what we would do with our children in regards to, you know, custody, things like that. So we kind of had a conversation in regards to that. I'd already um, talked to an attorney prior to me getting served, so I was already kind of prepared for it to happen. So when I finally was served, you know, I, I was a little shook with the paperwork because now it's a reality. And so I was trying to figure out when should we tell the kids. And me and my ex-wife couldn't really figure out be the proper time. I called my attorney. She told me I need to tell them immediately before going any further. And we sat the kids down and told them, you know, mom and dad are going to get a divorce. To my surprise, they were like, no duh. You know, they were <laughs> like, hey, hey, hell, well, you guys been moving for the past damn year. We kind of figured this was coming. But you tell it kind of affected them a little while because, again, like the moment when I was served, it was a reality. One thing that I could um, advise any parent that's going through it, don't sugarcoat it. Be honest. Now, I know everybody has different situations when they go through a divorce. It may be something that you guys just say, hey, we grew apart. It may be domestic violence. It may be a lot of things in regards to uh, uh, assets, custody, things like that. You know, I think it's more difficult to, uh, to have any planning for that, Only, mainly because uh, if you have adverse situations going on through the divorce, uh, you don't know how to even plan for it because anything can happen. But when we're talking about, hey, you know, you, you know, like, listen, because listen, you know you're not getting, a, you know you're not a quote unquote getting along with this person and you're not there always going to see eye to eye. So it's, it can still be some kind of bumpy, bumpy situations. But I do think the number one thing with your children, you want to make sure that you're being honest with them, even if the honesty hurts. Because what happens is if things change or things go in a different directions, They'll, you at least honest with them and can tell them what's going on. Um, you know your kids in, in regards to from an age perspective what they can process. Uh, anybody under let's say maybe 10 years old you may have to kind of adjust your story or maybe um, be careful what information you give to them or not because they may not be mature enough to process it. But I was thinking one north of 10 they can actually understand you know the, the actual truth. They don't necessarily need to know the whole background of why uh, uh, with doing it, but they need to know the truth. Hey, mom and dad are separated. We haven't decided on how we're going to, you know, uh, live with you guys. How you guys are going to uh, do the new living situation? If you don't know for sure, uh, but definitely uh, let them know that hey, this this is what's going on, so they can kind of mentally prepare. What you don't want is to have your child get sideswiped by it. Um, one of the major issues, probably, I think, with in my situation. We agreed on what we were going to do from the uh, night my ex-wife told me she wanted to get a divorce. The problem came up is I'm getting paperwork to say something different every other week. And what's being said and what's being what's being uh, said and what's written, two different things. So, hell, I was in a, a state of uncertainty for uh, the whole process. And <laughs> so, uh, it, it was a trying time for me because what I'm being told and what I'm telling the kids is not what I'm reading on these paperwork, on this paperwork. So that was pretty challenging for me, and I don't think that's anything abnormal to a lot of people that actually may be in a situation of going through the process with children. Um, going through it was a little funky, and I w will say I tried uh, my best uh, to kind of just keep focus on you know the process and getting past it in my life after the process and I would advise anybody to do that it's very easy to get emotional with it and lose your cool and the thing you got to make sure of when you lose your cool not only could you negatively impact uh, your case regardless of your gender but also you can negatively impact how your children are seeing you and their uh, and, and their other parent going through the process and again you know something that we do today can have a whole lot of lingering effects tomorrow and beyond, right? Even next generational. So we have to be very, very cognizant of that. Now, if you're going through something personally and you're stressed out or you're being affected, you know, subconsciously, the best advice I can give you is to detach yourself for a second. Um, 
get in your car, drive around the block. If you got a good friend that you can just talk to, I mean, hell, it worth for Tom Hanks. Go find what was it? What was it? Winston. Get your little basketball in your backyard. Go talk to him. I know how tough it is, guys. I know how tough it is, but you have to make sure that you don't do anything that's going to negatively impact, you know, your case, your custody, or anything like that. So you have to be very, very careful of that. Okay. Also, way you when you are being honest with your kids, talk to them through the process if they have questions. You know, I would never, I would advise never to have conversation where you're speaking negatively about the other parent, no matter how negative you feel about the other parent. Um, be very careful with that, because no child wants to hear anything bad about their parent. And usually, it's, it's the inverse. Boys don't hear anything bad about their mother. And no girl wants to hear anything bad about their father. So you have to be very, very cognizant of that, guys. Be very careful. You know, and, and again, you may not even your intention may not necessarily be to talk bad about that particular parent. It just comes off that way because you might be just in a funk and that your child is the only person that you can vent to. Be careful of that. And try your best to not get in those kind of situations where you're talking about the other parent. Okay? A situation that affected me dearly was dealing with ex-in-laws uh, some I'm okay with today some probably just hate the ground I walk on I didn't have any issues with domestic violence or anything like that in my marriage you know it wasn't anything as far as abuse but I think people acting uh, like I was just the antichrist and I think that's not nothing that's uncommon because typically with families um, people kind of gravitate to their family member no matter what relationship you had and I was married over, uh, right at 20 years over 25 years together and you know it, it was it was rough just seeing how everybody was just breaking up it was more my my exercise because my family still kind of like hey you know we're cool with her and you know we're, we can stay that way which i didn't have a problem with or anything like that but it wasn't that way for me and you have to be very very careful um about with your with your children what you say about their other side of the family and how they handle you because the issue comes up a lot of times people on the other side can have say negative things about you to your child and your ex may not address it at all and I can say that's what happened to me and it's nothing uncommon so you have to be honest with your children not I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you I wouldn't I wouldn't advise sugarcoating things with your kid if a person is lying about you tell your children they're damn lying they're lying. They are lying. And don't try to just always be the bigger person. Because what happens is, uh, it can be an accumulation of lies. And if you're not addressing it or, 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 or saying anything about it, you don't know what your child is believing. And again, we're still talking about children. Now, a baby may not be able to process it. But you don't have to go back and forth with your ex-mother-in-law uh, ex or father-in-law back and forth. But if something is said and it's not the truth, and listen, that's not the truth. And this is what's going on. Even though you'd rather not have that conversation with your child or say certain things that probably you feel like don't need to be said to them. But you definitely want to address things that come up like that because, again, what they heard is what they heard. Right? What they're told is what they're told. And sometimes you can say, well, I don't think they'll believe that about my child. Uh, my, I don't think my child will believe that about me, but you don't know. Again, when I say you got to volunteer information or do anything like that. But don't be afraid to stand up for yourself because a lot of times when you're going through it, um, you're not going to be guaranteed that the other person is going to stand up for you. Okay, Be very careful of that. Um, be also very, uh, be thinking about your kids, um, you know, mental state, mental state. If they need to go get counsel, need to talk to somebody. You know, definitely if you need to do it, make sure you do it for yourself, you know, because, you again, we, uh, we suffer in silence a lot. And just because people don't outwardly address certain things, that doesn't mean there's not an issue or anything like that. Uh, uh, because it's not showing on the surface, so be very mindful to make sure you're looking at them from from a distance. Hey, are they okay to doing them things differently? Has their attitude changed? You know, just for the hell of it, you know, you can just spend a little copay money, go get you know just some kind of counseling, and let that person you know they don't see anything cool. Try it a couple times just to say you did right. Um, we don't want our kids to go in through anything. Hell, we don't want ourselves to go through anything. But stuff happens, and the sooner that you can address things, I think the better off you'll be, because it puts you 
more in a proactive role than a reactionary role. And we know when we get in these reactionary roles, we just got to take it how it comes. You got to be very, very careful of that, okay? And uh, just, you know, make sure you do a, 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 the best you can because as kids grow, they get into their own attitudes and their own ways of thinking. Uh, they may want to talk to mom and dad all the time. They may just feel like, hey, I'm gravitating more with my friends and growing up and finding myself. So the conversation may change. It's not a right or wrong way. It's just it's life. But make sure you try your best to keep communication lines open just in case your child needs to speak or you need to speak to them, right? So those are the advice I want to give you guys in regards to, you know, uh, make to lessen the impact of divorce on your children, okay? Because um, when we me having these conversations, a lot of times uh, I didn't have a lot of people that I could talk to. I had some people that I could talk to, but the the advice was all over the place. Some of it could be deemed as good, safe advice. Some of it could be extreme crazy device, uh, advice, rather. So I just want to share these particular things with it because I know there are a lot of parents that are going through a divorce, like I said, regardless of gender, regardless of way of thinking or religious belief, whatever, that are going through these particular things and they're just asking how, why, whatever. So I just want to provide, you know, some of these videos in regards to that to help you guys navigate through that tough time of divorce. Take care of yourself, guys. Love you. Talk to you soon.